I'm here. Yes, you are. Thank <laughs> I God. Made it. All right, our next guest may not have his own driver's license, but he has driven around international circuit tracks at speeds not even any normal driver would attempt to do or would probably be allowed to do. He comes from a family of racers and has made racing his passion. It's no surprise then that this 15-year-old is now Asia's champion carter and may one day be the first Filipino Formula One driver. Our young speed racer may have big ambitions, but there's no doubt he'll get to the finish line in whatever he does. And joining us today is the new Asian karting champion, Stefano Marcello, and his father, or brother, John Marcello. <laughs> you look so young. Brother. 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 Let's like, pretend okay, it's okay. a brother. Well, John, Sef uh, Stefano, good morning. Good morning. And Welcome. Congratulations. And congratulations. What an amazing year it it's been for you guys. Uh, uh, l let me leave it to you to, to tell us uh, what were the events and the races that, that, that he has won this year. Basically, we joined all the uh, uh, Philippine Shell Series karting. Mm -hmm. That's one, and then we, d we did the Cebu uh, Rock Series, and then from there we did we did the Belgian Series in in Europe, right. and then the Asian karting, which goes around Asia. Correct. So we did all four series, mm -hmm. and he won three out of all the four that we joined. You so mean overall champion? Overall champion. So wow. it was really tough. We weren't able to do, complete the Belgian championship, but uh, he still did pretty well there. And this is for a kid who's 15 years old, mm -hmm. and this is your first year in the open category, am I right? Yeah. So yes. prior to this, you were in the in the age groups or something? Well, in the junior? a junior class All right. for the younger drivers. Okay, and then who made the decision that, okay, this 2007 will jump up the open category already? Well, my dad and grandfather decided that okay. they, they were gauging on how I did last year. Mm -hmm. And if I did well last year, they said I could join the open, the okay. senior class. This year. And when you say open, there's no age group. I mean, you're, you're going up against guys who are yes. uh, adults, basically, also, right? Yeah, basically, with open class, it's any age. Mm -hmm. And then it's, when you say open, it's really be, uh, open engine. Also? Any open kind engine. of engine. Wow. With, with certain restrictions. Okay. Any equipment. Uh, how, how fast, how, whatever engine that you can use mm -hmm. as, fast, as fast as it can be. So that's an open class. And we decided, like, from last year, he came in second overall. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking that's kind of enough already to move him up to the, to the highest bracket. So thankfully that we were hoping that this, will, this year will be training for mm -hmm. him to, to win ne for next year. But he, but he so won. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. What a way to end the year. Yes, yep. indeed. TJ, you mentioned earlier that he's just 15 years old, but yeah. I want to ask, how young did you start karting? Uh, I started when I was 12. Um, we were coming home from Shubik after um, trying some go-karts. And, just uh, for fun. Just for fun. Just for uh, fun. Because I saw my dad racing and I asked, oh yeah, why, why don't I try that? It looks like a lot of fun. And uh, we got to Subic, tried it, and then on the way home, just could not stop talking about it. And uh, <laughs> he, he said I, we could give it a shot, but we had to convince my grandfather and grandmother first. And there's a story behind that, John. Can you tell us about it? Yes, basically, my brother used to race Formula cars mm. in uh, uh, actually, the Indy cars in, in the U.S. with right. the Jimmy Vassar and all that and Jack Villeneuve. But that, unfortunately, in 1992, he lost his life there. So my family said no more racing. Mm -hmm. My parents said no more racing at in the all family, for anybody in the family. At all. So, okay. But of course, the passion was there. I got into jet ski racing, which is kind of different. So they said, okay, race. So mm -hmm. I did pretty well there. And then later on, I stopped and now we start, I started racing again with cars a little bit. Mm -hmm. And when he saw that, he, he got interested in it. Mm -hmm. And that, that's what spurred him on now to, to where he is now. What the, did you see in him when he started racing? I mean, does a driver show any signs of like natural potential, potential. or natural talent? Yes, actually, when he started racing, I was thinking, OK, I have to teach him this, I have to teach him mm -hmm. that. You know? so his first out, I told him, OK, gas pedal, brake pedal, mm -hmm. steering wheel, and then he did, he, he, he went on and I saw like he was doing good times, he, mm -hmm. was, he knew how to take the corners and all that, so I, I think maybe with a little bit of training, he can be very good, so, mm -hmm. and I could see his passion about, about it, without the passion, because mm -hmm. if, if, if he didn't have the passion, I don't think maybe he wouldn't be serious, but he really wanted mm -hmm. it, so. So well, aside from it came from it came naturally mm -hmm. the talent and mm -hmm. then the passion was there everything was all set the racing was really for him yes he was really I mean a lot of people have the backing like I said right. a lot of people have the talent also mm -hmm. but if you're not passionate about it even right. if you have the talent you, can, you won't go, you won't succeed talaga mm -hmm. 